everyone, welcome back, welcome to my channel if you're new. Basically, over the next couple of days, I'm gonna be spending some time in my home city, Bristol, as a tourist, doing all the touristy sort of stuff that people do. And yeah, I just thought I'd bring you guys along because it's gonna be quite a fun couple of days. I've got a few things planned, especially tonight. I'm gonna see Mary Poppins in the Bristol Hippodrome. I love the Hippodrome. Haven't been for a couple of years. I normally go around Christmas time because I just love going to the theatre at that time of year. It's just proper cozy, really nice vibes. So yeah, I'm heading off to watch Mary Poppins tonight. Mary Poppins production in the theatre actually came out 20 years ago in Bristol for the first time so it's kind of like a 20 year anniversary they're bringing it back for like a pre-Christmas sort of theatre production so really looking forward to it. The ticket seats that I've actually got for the Hippodrome tonight are the Upper Circle. I managed to get NHS discount which they do in theatres, well most of them. So I managed to get myself a good discount, it cost me £22.50 for those tickets and I could have got a bit closer but I just thought you know what I'm going by myself, I don't need any fancy seats, I just want to go and watch a good show and just enjoy the experience of being at the theatre. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. It's something different, something fun. Like I said, I've got a few things planned over the next couple of days. So I just thought I'd kind of start the video now. Let me know what you guys think on the big old hat. Found this one in the back of my wardrobe from winter early on in the year. And you know what, I kind of forgot about it. And you know what, it's actually all right. I keep my head warm. I'm obviously not going to wear it in the theatre because like, I don't want people being annoyed by my big hat. Even I'm quite short, it does add a couple of inches height to me. So yeah, I'm going to take it off when I'm actually in the theatre. But it's actually really cosy. I hope you guys enjoy watching me spend a couple of days in Bristol as a tourist from someone who lives and comes from Bristol. So, oh, Doris has joined me. Hello. <laughs> little lick from Doris. So yeah, I'm gonna head to the theatre now. I'm not really sure how confident I'm gonna feel like filming out in public because I am going by myself. I take a shot for every time I say that in this video. But um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. I just put probably put a little segment of like a little bit of the show or something or just walking in and stuff like that. But we'll see. I'm trying to get myself a little bit more confident, a little bit more like out there, I guess, in terms of being on my channel and stuff. So I'm gonna head off now and I'll see you guys in the theatre. got a bottle of water, some chocolate buttons and some popcorn. I was a little bit later than I thought I was going to be, the traffic was quite bad. Um, so just heading up to the upper circle now. Excuse the bad lighting, it is currently half past 11 at night. Josh is in bed, but I've just got back from the theatre and it was so incredible. Like, it was such a great show, loved it. Bert got on the ceiling, Mary Poppins flew across the sky. It was just an absolute great performance and I just loved it. So yeah, Mary Poppins is one of my favourite Disney movies ever. Love the music, love the magic, just love the whole sparkle of everything in Mary Poppins. So yeah, absolutely loved it. It wasn't actually a sold out show. I had the entire row to myself, um, which was really nice. So I had loads of room, but the only thing about the Hippodrome is, and probably in most theatres to be fair, the seats are so uncomfortable. Like sitting there for two and a half hours, even though you get that little interval break in the middle is so difficult for me. I get pins and needles everywhere, really fidgety and it's probably really annoying for everyone behind me. I'm really bad at sitting or standing for too long. I get really fidgety so um, probably not the best. Bristol's such a cool place to live and I'm growing more and more like fond of it. Like when I was younger I wanted to move away, hated it, but I never really learned about Bristol and the history and just like really got into the culture of it all. So yeah, as I'm getting older I'm starting to really appreciate where I live a little bit more. So yeah, I am going to head to bed ready for a super exciting day tomorrow. Hopefully I won't have this lampshade on my head. It looks all right, it feels like a little bit like a disguise, like I can kind of hide myself with this hat, but it also stands out at the same time, it's kind of weird. I'm going to head to bed now, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning everyone, and welcome to the second day of this challenge of exploring Bristol as a tourist, and just, yeah, don't really know what this video is, but yeah, we're gonna go with it. Today I'm currently back in the centre of Bristol, I'm doing a walking tour at 11.30, it is now 20 past 10. But before I go to the walk-in tour, I'm gonna be heading to Bristol Cathedral because they're actually doing a expedi an expedition, an exhibition, oh my God, it is early. Well, it's not really early, but it's early. They're gonna be doing an exhibition 
I don't know why I can't say it. It just it doesn't sound like a word. Anyway, they've got an art show. It's called Gaia Home Planet, and they've got a massive planet of the Earth in the cathedral. So I've always wanted to check out one of the art displays. I know the Bristol Cathedral always has something kind of art displayed inside. It's free to do, so I just thought I'd give that a little go and see what it's all about. Ready for the walking tour because the walking tour at meeting point is actually right outside the cathedral anyway. So I've got around an hour to go before that. It takes about ten minutes to get from the car park to there. So I don't know why I'm giving you guys the time schedules of everything i don't really know why you probably don't even care but yeah um we're heading off now to the cathedral the weather is really like miserable it's kind of like that fuzzy light rain sort of stuff where you get absolutely soaked um this is all i've got on it's like waterproof thing but i've got loads of layers because you know, when you're walking around you kind of get a little bit hot so i don't want to wear too much layers but obviously i just needed like a raincoat sort of thing also got my cap as well just in case going for like the whole touristy look you know what i mean haven't got my backpack today i'm on a mission to kind of like not wear it as much or rely on it as much and carrying around so much with me because when you wear a backpack you just tend to like chuck loads of stuff in there like food drinks battery packs chargers it all ends up in your backpack and like most of the time i don't actually use anything for my backpack so i've got like a little bum bag today it's kind of quite a big size so i can fit my camera my drinks and stuff like that in my phone so yeah i don't really know how much i'm gonna confidently film again in public we're working on that i'm trying to get better at it but it doesn't help that i'm by myself as well because i feel like when you're with someone it kind of looks like you've got someone to kind of like shake off the nerves with and the anxiety but when you're by yourself it kind of feels a little bit like I know you're already by yourself and then you're filming yourself so it's kind of weird i don't know quickly show you guys the view of what i'm looking at right now this is the view from the car park it's quite hazy as you can see like well i don't know if you can see but it's quite a hazy day but um yeah we are basically heading off to the cathedral which you can just see just about there so like i said guys it's early in the morning it's like half past 10. normally in like cities it's quite isolated at this time it normally picks up around lunchtime after like everyone's on their breaks and stuff like that but just behind me there um that is the oldest pub in bristol apparently there's a rumor even blackbeard used to drink in there i'm not sure if the tour is going to include that today but yeah that's what it looks like and apparently the door is made out of human skin or not made out of but it's got like a layer of it on there so yeah it's pretty cool to know depending on the time today and like how the tour goes might stop in there for a little bit of lunch and show you guys around inside because i thought that'd be quite cool the menu is really good as well i've been there for roast dinner on a sunday which was incredible the mint gravy was just yeah really really nice i think about it a lot <laughs> like ever since i've been there like yeah they've got facts around the pub inside as well so yeah depends on how today goes and how the walking tour goes i might stop in there for a little bit lunch and obviously yeah show you guys around soon so yeah that's quite fun now it's really really cool as you can see it like makes the whole entire cathedral glow with this like illuminous blue color it's really really pretty so i am gonna go now gonna head off to a cafe and i'll see you guys at the walking tour never knew any of this existed, never been here before. But look how incredible this looks. Like a proper little secret garden. Let's have a look, I've got five minutes till my meeting point, so let's have a little gander. There's something about like the autumn leaves that just makes everything look really, really pretty and nice. But yeah, there's like a little courtyard in the back of the cathedral, which is really cool. Never been here before, didn't even know it existed. So yeah, pretty impressed with that. up a pinksman's donut they've got like a pinksman cafe inside which is really cool so i've got myself a raspberry white chocolate and raspberry sourdough donut so i'm gonna enjoy that on my walk hopefully in a couple of minutes time so yeah just want to come out here and see what the garden looked like before i head on on my little walk because i haven't been there before and as we're doing like a little touristy sort of thing you just kind of have to check these things out don't you so yeah it's really really nice the donut was four pounds fifty and it's quite a large size so happy with that the meeting point for the walk-in tour is just outside the cathedral. I'm thinking this is the group here, so we're going to head over now.
<laughs> we will rock this. Do you want that? Yeah. yeah. Him playing the drums was the most Bristolian part of that entire experience. Now, and I'm not saying it was bad, it was very, very good. Bristol down to a T, like just the most random, spontaneous thing you could ever do. And yeah, I loved it, it was just absolute class. So, um, tour is now finished and I am heading to um, the M Shed Museum just to check out some more of the Banksy stuff um, because apparently on the tour, the Colston statue, which was brought down during COVID, during the Black Lives Matter protest, is actually in the M Shed as well. So there's a few things going on in there, and I haven't been there for a couple of years. So I thought, whilst I'm here and doing this whole Bristol experience thing, I'll go and check it out, show you guys a bit of culture around Bristol, and just show you guys around the M Shed. So that'd be pretty fun. But yeah, overall, the tour was brilliant. Like, learnt so much. One thing I didn't know was that the Christmas steps area was actually the inspiration for Diagon Alley in Harry Potter. Don't know if I pronounced that well. So yeah, apparently JK Rowling was inspired by that whole set for the Diagon Alley part of Harry Potter, so that's pretty cool. And it was only like £13 for two hours walking tour. So yeah, very good value for money. Bit of comedy in there. Bit of I've learned so much about all the buildings, all the artwork, the artists. So yeah, that was really impressive. So yeah, I'm gonna head off to the M Shed and catch up you guys in a bit. the M shed now it's nice and warm it's been absolutely freezing today so far so yeah it's so nice and warm in here now we're gonna try and find some Banksy and a little bit of history around Bristol look at that for a view in the Hatchet Inn. I'm gonna order something to eat. Um, the menu is quite good. This is what I'm currently looking at. So I'm thinking to either go for the footlong chili dog or just the normal one with mustard and onions. I'm not really sure which one I wanna do. But this one looks really good as well, the Halloumi fish and chips. Apparently on our walking tour, there are some ghosts upstairs. And after a certain time of night, some staff don't even go up there, like they refuse apparently. So yeah, it's a really old pub. It's got a lot of story, a lot of history around it. And there's some few like billboards around it, sort of like showing all the facts and stuff. But the food's really great. The atmosphere's really fun. And it's such a cozy sort of traditional English, British pub. So yeah, I'm gonna order some food now, show you guys what it looks like around the pub. And then I'm gonna head back home, um, see my little doggies and then continue this vlog tomorrow. everyone we are now on our way to our next adventure I've got Josh with me this time and we're about to do a Bristol boat cruise to Avon Gorge so that's gonna be really fun we booked it with Bristol Packet Boat Trips which is a Bristol based company and it was £23 for a four hour trip so really looking forward to it hopefully we're on time I have no idea where the boat is so hopefully we make it just chilling with me which is nice We've also got Doris as well hi good girl I didn't give you a good boy bop good boy hi guys so it's the next day I've got my hair done and I'm just gonna say it's been such a busy weekend I have not stopped at all got Doris with me got Bruno with me so if you hear any bark barks in the background that would be them but yeah i have had a really fun weekend exploring bristol my hometown it's been such a different sort of thing for my channel and just for me personally as well 
um just going out solo getting a little bit more confident filming out and about has been a challenge but in a good way i've really enjoyed it i'm doing the walking tour meeting new people just such a great way to get out and around overall it's been a really fun weekend i've enjoyed every minute of it really busy really productive and I'm, yeah i'm so glad i've managed to kind of get everything put together for this video it's been a really fun one to do and yeah i've learned so much about bristol the harbour side the history all the artwork everything <laughs> she wants attention <laughs> she does that Good girl. So yeah, before I wind down for the rest of the day and conclude this video, I just want to say it's been super, super fun going around Bristol, exploring it and just, yeah, seeing it in a different perspective. Obviously, I'm not an alien to going down to the town centre, but I don't do it that often. And I just thought I'd kind of bring you guys along with me and just show you around Bristol. <laughs> Am I going to be able to film the end of this video? Possibly not. <laughs> we are getting there then. You want more love? What do you want? Hey, what do you want, Paul? What is it? She's such a little attention seeker. Thank you. Can I film the video now? The Hippodrome was such a great show. I loved Mary Poppins. And yeah, if you get a chance to go to Hippodrome whilst you're in Bristol, definitely do it. And if you're an NHS or if you're a student or if you're a carer, there are discounts available on the Bristol Hippodrome like ticket website. So yeah, go and check that out. Towards Christmas time, you can get tickets for like £13 each, which I think is a really great deal. Um, I'm not sure if you get the discount on top of that, but if, if you do, brilliant. Probably like £10 to go. But yeah, overall, it's been a really nice couple of days. I've absolutely loved it. Going to the Hippodrome, going on the walking tour, meeting new people, learning all about Bristol and the history, Banksy, Blackbeard, the protest stories and yeah it's been such an important lesson to learn from all of that and it's just been a really great experience to learn all about Bristol even on the um, boat trip yesterday with Josh if you get a chance to do that as well it's Bristol Packet Boat Trips you can find it on Google pretty easily I think they have an Instagram account as well um, and they do all sorts of events they do like cream tea boat tours they do just a little trip up and down the harbour side if you don't fancy the full four hour trip I am going to end the video here I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me explore Bristol Bristol and just showing you guys around and just yeah basically being active on a little vlog for my channel so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching if you did please make sure you smash a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more videos from me I am planning on doing a Bristol Christmas market tour so if you guys want to see that check it out subscribe and I will be bringing it out towards December time We've got a couple of more weeks to go for that so yeah that's it for me today thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon in my next video bye